In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's collective worship, which is brought to you from St. Bartholomew's Church here in Newbiggin, uh, with me, Father Anthony. We are now in the Christian calendar in the season of Lent, uh, which is quite a long period of time between now and Easter, which I'm sure many of us are looking forward to uh, for obvious reasons. During the season of Lent, it's quite popular across the world uh, for people to give up something that we enjoy. Now, I just want you to imagine, just for a moment, if you were asked, say, for the next 40 days to give up, say, uh, eating chocolate or maybe even playing with your favourite toy. Whatever it is, think of something you enjoy doing most and what it might feel like if you chose not to do that for 40 days. Hmm. I've just thought about something that I enjoy doing and what it might be like not to be able to do it for 40 days. And I can say uh, it's going to be difficult, but... There's a reason why we might choose to give up something during this holy season of Lent. And that starts with the story of Jesus in the desert, which I'm going to share with you today. And so as a young man, uh, Jesus went out into the desert and he went there uh, to spend 40 days and 40 nights in prayer. Now, when he was there, unfortunately, there was no food or water or any shelter. So it would have been really hot by day and it would have been freezing by night and he would have been hungry and thirsty and eventually he probably would have felt very tired maybe even grumpy but when jesus was there out in the desert for those 40 days and 40 nights he was tempted uh, for the devil um, who is of course very bad appeared to jesus three times and on the first time that the devil appeared he said to jesus just look if you are the son of god why don't you look at those rocks over there and turn them into bread. That way you would be, you'd have a full belly and you won't feel hungry. Just prove that you've got that power. But Jesus knew that the devil was trying to trick him. So he said, no, I won't listen to a word you say and I most certainly won't be turning any of those rocks over there into bread for me to eat. And so Jesus continued in his time in the desert. He would have been praying. He probably would have been thinking. Um, hoping that he could draw closer to God, his Father, um, through those prayers. And then it was interrupted for the second time by the devil appearing, who said, Jesus, if you are the Son of God, and you must be all-powerful then, and if you are, surely why don't you go to the top of that very high mountain, and if you do that tower, you see over there, there's a tower, you could just jump off it, couldn't you? And if you jump off it, surely if you are the Son of God, the angels would come and they would stop you even from hitting the ground. But Jesus again knew that this was a trick and that it wouldn't be very wise to go jumping off any heights uh, with the expectation that the angels might come and save him. And so he said, nope, I'm not going to be jumping off any heights and there'll be no angels coming because I'm simply not going to do it. I'm not going to be so silly. And so it was that the devil was defeated and he left Jesus alone in the wilderness until some time later when he appeared for the third time and he said to Jesus look look at the whole world look at all of the lands look at all of the people uh, everything in it could be yours if only you turn to me I will give you everything but once again Jesus in his wisdom knew that this was a trick for he was the son of God and all he wanted to do was to grow in love of his father who is his father in heaven god and he said no i'm not going to listen to a word you say now go i will not be taking any of the kingdoms of the world or all of the people and in fact they're not even yours everything that you see belongs to god it does not belong to anybody else and so it was for that third and final time the devil took the hump and he left jesus all alone in the desert now, the story there is, of course, that for all those 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus, he would have been hungry. Uh, there wasn't very much he could do to enjoy himself out there. And in the middle of all that, um, he was being tempted to turn rocks into bread and even to take over the whole world. But Jesus said no to all of those things. And so during Lent, 
we, as Christians, might choose to give up something that we enjoy so that we can uh, feel what it might have been like a bit more for Jesus during his time in the desert. But even more so, maybe today, we'll give up something that we enjoy um, to make time to do other things. So we might give up eating uh, chocolate every day, and instead of eating chocolate, we might want to say a prayer instead. Or it might be that we give up something that we enjoy like a toy. We might give up playing our favorite game and instead choose to do something to help somebody else in need. We might want to help out around the house a bit more. Uh, we might want to help out a neighbor who we know might be in need or struggling in any way. And so whatever it is that we do during Lent as Christians, we don't do it to make ourselves all gloomy and miserable. But in fact, we do it so that we can find opportunities uh, to see the love of God in the world and to share his love that he has for us with other people as well. And so as we remember that story of Lent and Jesus in the desert and not giving in to temptation, let us pray for ourselves. Lord God, we thank you that your son Jesus spent those 40 days and 40 nights in the desert. We remember that story, which is proof of your love for us. That if we trust in you, you will provide the good things that we need. We thank you for the good things that we do have in this life. And we pray for those in the world that don't even have food or shelter. We pray for those who are in need. And during our lives, wherever we find them, fill our hearts with your love and your light, that we can help them and bring them comfort and show them your love in the words that we speak and in the things that we do. Amen. And so during this holy season of Lent, may you and your families and friends know God's blessing, for he loves you and has made you for who you are. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen.